There comes a time in everyone's life when the dawn breaks and a voice within us calls for action. It whispers, it urges, it demands time to get up and get it done. This isn't just a call to wake from slumber. It's a clarion call to awaken to your potential, to rise from the complacency that blankets us, and to stride boldly towards our destiny. Why, you might ask, is this urgency so crucial? In our journey through life, we find ourselves at crossroads, moments where our decisions not only define our path, but dictate the pace at which we travel towards our aspirations. The difference between those who dream and those who achieve is not just the visions they hold dear, but the vigor with which they pursue them. It's time to embrace this truth, to stand up, to shake off the dust of hesitation, and step forward into the realm of action. This speech, inspired by the philosophies I've lived by and taught, is more than just words. It's a roadmap, a guide from the inertia of someday to the momentum of today. It's about igniting that spark within you that refuses to be extinguished, the one that yearns not just for success, but for fulfillment and growth. Now, to make this time different, commit not just to listen, but to act, not just to dream, but to achieve. For in the pursuit of our goals, in the relentless chase of our dreams, we find not just who we are, but who we are meant. So join me as we take this first step together into the light of action and the dawn of accomplishment. Time to get up and get it done isn't just a call to action. It's a promise to ourselves, a promise of a life lived with purpose, passion, and perseverance. As we stand on the precipice of possibility, it's imperative. We recognize that the journey ahead is illuminated by the goals we set. The first step towards any form of success be it personal or professional, is not just to dream, but to define what those dreams look like in vivid detail. It's not merely enough to want to achieve. We must know precisely what we aim to achieve. This precision, this clarity, is the compass that guides us through the tumultuous seas of life's challenge. Imagine, if you will, setting out on a voyage without a destination. How would you know which direction to steer? How would you measure your progress? How would you even know when you've arrived? This scenario applied to the journey of life underlines the critical importance of having clear, well-defined goals. It's akin to setting sail with a map and a compass. It provides direction, measures progress, and ultimately signifies arrival at the desired destination. Now talk about how to achieve this clarity, how to sketch the map and chart the course. The process begins with introspection, with asking ourselves what truly matters. It's about peering into the depths of our desires, sifting through the myriad wants, and identifying those aspirations that resonate with our core. This is not a task to be taken lightly for the goals that truly drive us. That stir our souls are the ones that hold the power to transform our lives. Once we've unearthed these gems of aspiration, the next step is to crystallize them, to shape them into objectives so clear and so specific that there's no mistaking what they entail. This means not just saying, I want to be successful, but delineating what success looks like. Is it achieving a certain position in your career? Is it reaching a particular milestone in your personal development? Whatever it is, it must be defined with precision. But clarity alone is not enough. These clear goals then need to be broken down into actionable steps. Think of it as charting the course on your map. What routes will you take? What milestones must you reach along the way? This breakdown transforms the seemingly insurmountable into manageable segments, making the journey not just conceivable, but achievable. Now forget about setting timelines. A goal without a deadline is but a dream. Deadlines compel action. They create a sense of urgency that propels us forward. They're the wind in our sails, pushing us towards our destination with purpose and pace. Now, as we prepare to dive deeper into the essence of action, of taking those crucial steps towards our defined goals, remember this. The clarity of our objective sets the stage for the triumph of our endeavors. It's the foundation upon which the edifice of our achievements is built. 
not as wanderers lost in the fog of ambiguity, but as navigators skilled and sure, charting our course towards the horizons of our dreams. The journey from here becomes one of movement, of the disciplined application of effort towards the targets we've set. As we transition from the what to the how, from clarity to action, we carry with us the detailed blueprint of our dreams, ready to turn them into reality. With our sail set towards the horizons of our aspirations, guided by the compass of clarity, there lies a tempest that often pushes us off course, a formidable force that hinders our voyage towards success. This force, my friends, is procrastination, a challenge as old as time itself, as pertinent today as ever. It's the art of delaying, the comfort of later, the seduction of the sofa when steps need to be taken, Actions need to be ex explored not only why this happens, but how we can navigate through these turbulent waters. Procrastination is more than just laziness. It's a complex web of barriers with fear often at its core. Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of stepping out of our comfort zones. These fears paralyze us, coaxing us into believing that delay is preferable to disaster. But here's the truth. Procrastination is the disaster. It's the thief of time, the murderer of opportunities. Every moment spent in the quagmire of indecision, every opportunity missed due to delay is a step not taken towards our destination. Another accomplice of procrastination is the illusion of perfectionism. We wait for the perfect moment, the perfect conditions, before we take action. However, in waiting for perfection, we often do nothing at all. The perfect moment is a mirage on the horizon, always out of reach. Success is not about perfect conditions. It's about seizing the imperfect and making it work to our advantage. Right? Now, how do we steer our ship clear of these treacherous waters? The answer lies in embracing self-discipline and focus, principles that light our path and drive us forward, even when the winds of procrastination blow fiercely. The first step in conquering procrastination is to acknowledge its presence. Recognize that it is a barrier, but not an insurmountable one. It's a cloud that can be cleared with the sunlight of action. Begin with small steps, small tasks that you can accomplish easily. Success in these smaller endeavors builds momentum, a powerful force that propels you forward, breaking the chains of procrastination. Set clear, actionable goals with specific deadlines, goals are the stars by which we navigate, but deadlines are the winds that fill our sails. They push us, motivate us, and keep us moving forward. Break down your goals into manageable tasks and approach each with a sense of urgency. Remember, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and it's taking that step repeatedly that covers the distance. Another strategy is to create an environment conducive to productivity. Remove distractions that tempt you towards procrastination. Create a workspace that encourages focus where every tool and resource you need is within reach, minimizing the excuses to pause or delay. Equally important is to practice self-compassion. Understand that while procrastination is a barrier, it does not define you. You are not your habits. You have the power to change, to grow, and to overcome. Be kind to yourself in moments of delay, but also firm in your commitment to action. As we sail further into the depths of our journey towards success, remember that overcoming procrastination is not a one-time battle. It's a continuous struggle, a part of the human condition. But with self-discipline, focus, and a commitment to action, we can navigate through it. We can reach the shores of our dreams, not by waiting for the perfect moment, but by making every moment perfect through our efforts, our resilience, and our determination. So pledge not to be swayed by the siren call of procrastination. We instead set our sights on the tasks at hand, tackling them with vigor and purpose. For in the fabric of time, it's the stitches of action that weave the tapestry of success. Now ready to transform our newly defined goals into tangible realities, embrace the discipline of doing, the very essence of getting up and getting it done. Having navigated the tumultuous seas of procrastination,
We find ourselves facing the shores of an island marked by the towering lighthouse of self-discipline. This beacon, shining brightly, guides us to the very heart of achievement, the discipline of doing. It's here, in the embrace of disciplined action, that dreams are not just chased, but caught, where aspirations transform from the ethereal to the tangible. Self-discipline, the unwavering commitment to a course of action in spite of challenges and temptations, stands as the cornerstone upon which the edifice of success is built. It's the inner strength that propels one forward when the path becomes steep and the nights long. It's the quiet resolve that whispers continue when the world shouts quit. Explore this transformative power through stories that not only inspire but illuminate the path from intention to accomplishment. Consider the story of a young artist, passionate yet unnoticed, who dreamt of showcasing his art to the world. Every day he painted, not in bursts of sporadic inspiration, but with the steady hand of discipline. His studio, a small room barely shielding him from the elements, became his sanctuary. Critics dismissed his early works. Galleries turned him away. He persisted, disciplined in his craft, unwavering in his schedule. Years passed, each stroke of the brush a testament to his dedication. Today, his artworks adorn the walls of prestigious galleries, celebrated not just for their beauty, but for the story they tell of discipline's power to overcome obscurity. We take the tale of a writer, beset by rejection slips, each a blow to her confidence. Every morning she sat at her desk, disciplining herself to write a thousand words. The empty pages filled, slowly at first, then with a momentum born of discipline. Her breakthrough came not with a sudden flash of genius, but with a steady glow of perseverance, lighting her way to a bestseller that captured the hearts of millions. None of these stories, while unique in their details, share a common thread. The unyielding discipline to do, to act, to create. It's this discipline that transforms the possible into the actual, the dreamer into the achiever. But how, you might wonder, can we cultivate such discipline? It begins with a commitment, a decision to do whatever it takes to reach our goals. It's reinforced by habit, the daily repetition of actions aligned with our objectives. It's sustained by focus, the ability to keep our eyes on the prize, even when distractions abound. Let us also embrace the practice of setting clear actionable steps, recognizing that discipline thrives not on vague intentions but on specific, measurable actions. Celebrate our progress, no matter how small, for each step forward is a victory in the realm of disciplined action. Moreover, we must be resilient, ready to rise each time we fall, understanding that the path to success is paved with setbacks and failures, each an opportunity to fortify our discipline. The stories of those who have walked this path before U.S. serve as beacons, guiding us through the challenges that lie ahead. Let their journeys remind us that discipline is more than a tool for achieving goals. It's a way of life, a testament to the human spirit's capacity to transcend limitations. So armed with the power of self-discipline, proceed on our journey, not as mere travelers, but as explorers, ready to unearth the treasures that lie waiting for those willing to persist, to endure, to do. For it is in the doing that dreams are realized, goals are achieved, and lives are transformed. Right? Now, as we chart our course towards the next beacon of our journey, the momentum of small winds carry with us the discipline that has propelled us this far, ready to apply it to the challenges and opportunities that await. In the grand tapestry of our journey toward success, each thread, no matter how seemingly insignificant, contributes to the strength and beauty of the final design. As we weave our path with the discipline of doing, it's the small wins, those moments of progress, no matter how modest, that serve as the knots securing each thread in place. These moments, these small victories, are far from trivial. They are the very essence of building momentum and keeping our motivation soaring to new heights. Imagine for a moment the act of pushing a boulder up a hill. At first, the boulder resists, anchored by the weight of past attempts and the gravity of doubt. But with each push, each small movement, the task becomes less daunting. 
The boulder rolls a little easier, a little farther, with each effort. This is the power of small wins, the psychological lever that amplifies our efforts, making the next push less taxing, more inspired. These victories, these bits of progress, send ripples through the fabric of our motivation. They are affirmations whispering in our ear that, yes, we are moving forward. Yes, we are closer to our goal than we were yesterday. And it's in these whispers that we find the strength to continue to push harder, to aim higher. They transform the daunting into the doable, the impossible into the inevitable. Consider the runner training for a marathon. Not by focusing solely on the 26.2 miles ahead, but by celebrating each additional mile, they can run without stopping. Each morning they rise to train when their body yearns for rest or the entrepreneur. Not just dreaming of the empire they wish to build, but taking pride in each new client, each successful project, no matter the scale. These small wins are the milestones marking the distance covered, not just in the pursuit of our goals, but in the growth of our character and capabilities. Okay, but how do we ensure that these small wins don't go unnoticed, lost in the rush toward larger goals? We do so by setting our sights not just on the horizon, but on the ground beneath our feet. We acknowledge every step taken, every obstacle overcome, no matter how minor it may seem. We set smaller, intermediate goals that act as stepping stones, making the journey more manageable, more measurable. Moreover, we share our progress for in sharing, we multiply the joy of our victories however modest they may be. We build a culture of recognition and appreciation, starting with ourselves and extending to those around us. This shared celebration fuels our collective momentum, propelling us forward with renewed vigor. Do not underestimate the power of small wins. Collect these moments like precious stones, reminders of how far we've come and how capable we truly are. For it's through these victories that we Build the momentum to achieve, not just our goals, but to surpass them, transforming our aspirations into achievements, our dreams into reality. Now, as we embrace these small wins and the momentum they generate, we prepare to face the challenges and embrace the opportunities that lie ahead, fortified by the progress we've made and inspired by the successes yet to come, given the unfolding narrative of our endeavors, woven with the threads of discipline and small wins. We encounter two constants as reliable as the sunrise and sunset. Change and failure. These elements are not merely bumps on the road, but are integral to the landscape of any meaningful pursuit. Embracing this reality, understanding the inevitability of change, and learning from failure, not as final decrees, but as invaluable lessons, mark the difference between those who merely dream and those who achieve. Change, with its relentless pace, can unsettle the most carefully laid plans, transforming today's strategies into tomorrow's memories. It's akin to the shifting sands beneath our feet, compelling us to adjust our stance, to find new balance with each twist and turn of our journey. The key, then, is not to resist change, but to adapt to it, to see it not as an adversary, but as an ally in our quest for growth and achievement. And then... There's failure, an experience as universal as breathing, yet one that carries a weight heavy enough to crush spirits. But here lies the paradigm. In the heart of failure, within its shadow, are the seeds of success. Each misstep, each setback, is a lesson in disguise, offering insights and pathways we might never have considered. Failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of the success process. How do we navigate these inevitable aspects of our journey? The answer lies in our perspective, in our ability to adapt and learn. When change sweeps in, uprooting the familiar, we must remain fluid, ready to pivot and embrace new methods, new ideas and new opportunities that arise from the chaos. It's in this agility that we find our strength, our resilience. As for failure, it demands a shift in our understanding, a redefinition of its role in our lives. Instead of viewing it as a dead end, we must see it as a detour, an unexpected path leading to new vistas of understanding and accomplishment. We must dissect our failures, 
examine them not with a critical eye, but with a curious one, asking ourselves, what can I learn from this? How can this experience refine my approach? Let us then cultivate a mindset that welcomes change and respects failure, replace fear with curiosity, trepidation with excitement at the possibilities that each, this is not a journey we walk alone. History is rich with tales of those who have walked this path before us, who have faced change and failure head on, and emerged not just unscathed, but strengthened. Consider the inventor whose countless failures in the lab led to breakthroughs that have transformed our world. Or the athlete whose losses on the field taught them the strategies that led to championship victories. Their stories are not just narratives of success, but testaments to the transformative power of adapting to change and learning from failure. As we stand ready to embrace the momentum built from our small wins, let us also prepare to meet change and failure with open arms. Let us adapt, learn, and grow using each new challenge as a stepping stone, propelling us toward our goals with greater wisdom, resilience, and determination. Now, enriched by the lessons of change and failure, we move forward with a deeper understanding of their roles in our quest for success. Our path marked by adaptation and learning leads us not away from our goals, but closer to them with each step taken in resilience and determination. As we weave through the fabric of our journey, fortified by the resilience learned from navigating change and embracing the teachings from our failures, we arrive at a critical juncture, one that underscores not just the pursuit of our goals, but the evolution of our very selves. This juncture, pivotal and profound, is the commitment to continuous learning, the unwavering dedication to self-improvement that ensures we remain not just participants in the race of life, but leaders who shape its course. In a world that never ceases to evolve, where today's innovations become tomorrow's history, the role of lifelong learning becomes not just important, but essential. It's the fuel that powers our journey, the wind that propels our sails towards uncharted territories and new horizons. It's the recognition that the quest for knowledge never ends, that each day presents a new opportunity to learn, to grow, and to adapt. But how do we embed this practice of continuous learning into the fabric of our daily lives? How do we ensure that amidst the whirlwind of our responsibilities, we still find time to nurture our minds and spirits with new knowledge? The key lies in integration, in weaving learning seamlessly into our routines, transforming it from a task to be scheduled into a lifestyle. First, we must cultivate curiosity, the bedrock of learning. Approach each day with a question, a desire to understand something new, whether it's a skill, a concept, or even a deeper insight into the workings of the world around us. Let this curiosity guide your actions, turning every experience into a lesson, every challenge into a classroom. Next, leverage the tools at your disposal. In today's digital age, knowledge is more accessible than ever. Online courses, podcasts, webinars, and a myriad of other resources offer unlimited learning opportunities. All dedicate a portion of your day, however small, to engaging with these resources. It could be listening to a podcast during your morning commute, reading an article on a new development in your field over lunch, or spending a few minutes before bed exploring an online course. Embrace the practice of reflection. Learning is not just about acquiring new information, but about internalizing it, making it a part of who we are. Reflect on your daily experiences, on what worked and what didn't, on the lessons each day has taught you. This reflection not only consolidates your learning, but also illuminates the path ahead, highlighting areas for further exploration and growth. Moreover, don't journey alone. Engage with others who share your passion for learning. Join communities, participate in discussions, attend workshops and seminars. The exchange of ideas, the shared pursuit of knowledge, not only enriches your own learning experience, but also expands your perspective, exposing you to new ideas and approaches. Let us remember that continuous learning is not a destination, but a journey, one that enriches not just our careers, but our lives. It is the curiosity that fuels our passion, the knowledge that empowers our actions, and the wisdom that guides our decisions. 
So let us embrace this journey with open hearts and eager minds, ready to learn, to grow, and to achieve beyond our wildest dreams. Now equipped with the lessons learned and the knowledge gained, we prepare to take action to translate our continuous learning into tangible results. Our journey is one of constant evolution, of becoming the best versions of ourselves through the disciplined pursuit of our goals and the relentless quest for knowledge. In the rich tapestry of our endeavors as we thread through continuous learning, embracing every nugget of knowledge with the eagerness of a child discovering the world in you, we reach a pivotal moment. This moment, charged with potential, beckons us to not just stand at the edge of the pool of our aspirations, dipping our toes, but to dive in. It's here that we transition from the realm of absorbing to the domain of doing. Taking action is the bridge that connects the dreamer to the achiever, the wish to the realization. The journey of a thousand miles, as the old wisdom goes, begins with a single step. Yet it's this first step that often feels the most daunting. How do we transition from stillness to motion, from planning to executing? The answer lies in the simplicity of action itself. The first step in our actionable plan is to define your goal with crystal clarity. You've envisioned your success, you've learned and absorbed, now pinpoint exactly what you want to achieve. Write it down. There's a magic in the act of writing that transforms abstract thought into concrete intention. Break down your goal into actionable steps. This is where the vast ocean of ambition becomes a series of manageable streams. If your goal is to write a book, your first step could be as simple as writing a single sentence. If it's to run a marathon, perhaps it's just putting on your running shoes and stepping outside. These small, seemingly insignificant actions are the seeds from which the mighty trees of achievement grow. Then, commit to a daily action no matter how small. Consistency is the key that unlocks the door to progress. It's not the size of the action that counts, but the regularity. Each day, you're laying a brick. Alone, a brick might not amount to much, but together they can build castles. To maintain momentum, track your progress. This could be a checklist, a journal, or even a visual representation like a progress bar. Seeing how far you've come can be a powerful motivator to keep going. It's a reminder that every action, no matter how small, is a step closer to your goal. Importantly, prepare for setbacks. They are inevitable companions on any journey worth taking. When they occur, view them not as roadblocks, but as detours, opportunities to learn, to refine, and to come back stronger. Remember, the path to success is never a straight line. It's a winding road filled with challenges that demand resilience and adaptability. Embrace accountability. Share your goals with someone you trust, someone who will cheer you on and hold you to your commitment. This could be a mentor, a friend, or a family member. Knowing that someone else is invested in your success can be a powerful motivator to keep moving forward. Reward yourself for milestones reached. These rewards need not be grand, but they should be meaningful to you. They serve as a celebration of your dedication and progress, a moment to reflect on the journey and recharge for the road ahead. In embarking on this path of action, remember that the greatest achievements in life are not just the result of what we do, but how we rise to the challenge of doing. It's in the doing that we discover our true strength, our resilience, and our capacity to transform dreams into reality. Now, as we stand ready at the threshold of action, poised to translate our goals into achievements, let us carry with us the lessons of discipline, the momentum of small wins, and the resilience forged in the fires of learning and adaptation. Let us step forward with confidence, knowing that with each action taken, we are not just moving closer to our goals, but becoming the very individuals capable of achieving them. Having traversed the landscapes of clarity, discipline, resilience, and continuous growth, we stand on the precipice of action. The lessons we've shared, the stories we've told, all converge at a singular point, a call to action. This moment, right here, right now, is where the future begins. Not tomorrow, not next week, but this very instant. 
The path ahead is yours to claim. Your dreams, your aspirations, they beckon with open arms, waiting for you to take the first step. It's time to move beyond the confines of contemplation to step out of the shadows of hesitation. It's time to embrace the light of action. Let this be the moment you decide that no dream is too distant, no goal too daunting. Let this be the day you pledge to yourself that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And that step is taken today. The time for waiting has passed. The time for action is now. Remember, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Let that belief, that unshakable conviction in the beauty of your dreams, propel you forward. Let it be the wind beneath your wings, lifting you to heights unimagined, to achievements unparalleled. So as we part ways, let us part with a promise. A promise to ourselves and to each other that we will seize the moment, embrace the challenges, and relentlessly pursue our dreams. For in the end, it is not just about getting up and getting it done. It's about rising, about soaring to our fullest potential. The time is now. Let's make it.